Good afternoon, yogis. Welcome to Team Stretch. Just a nice 15 to 20 minute break from your day. I've got Pepper here to join us. Uh, Cece is in daycare today. For today, we're going to do something a little bit more chill, a little more laid back. So I do recommend having a blanket or pillow that's just going to make you more comfortable. Um, I was talking with my friend this week who is a night nurse. Shout out to Brittany. And she just come off shift and she was really tired and sore and wanted to do some stretches. I uh, found one of my videos, which is so humbling. Uh, but I thought this would be kind of something for her to, or for you, if you are just super exhausted, don't want to put a lot of effort into it, but you need, do need to get some of that mobility back. So we're going to be making our way to our mats. If you don't have a mat, that's fine. Just make sure that you have some comfortable surface on the ground. And we will start off on our knees. So we're going to come into what's known as Varasana or Hero's Pose. If this is uncomfortable for the knees, a crisscross applesauce is fine. You can also sit onto your pillows, blocks, or blankets. I'm just going to grab this pillow from my little sofa there and place it between the heels. This is going to help us get a nice tall spine. So I want you to drop the low ribs, lift the heart, shoulders up, down, and back. Okay, let's close the eyes. We're just kind of soft gaze. And just let the stress of anything leading up to this moment kind of release from the body. So we'll do that with some cleansing breaths. So go ahead and take a deep inhale, roll your shoulders up. And then exhale with them, fall and glide back, open the mouth. Inhale, second time, lift up. Last round, inhale with the shoulders, exhale through the mouth. Well, keeping the same straight spine. So I'm just gonna turn to the side so you can see what the goal is here. We tend to kind of curve the spine here with the back like that, which is staple down the ribs, kind of dropping the tailbone. you are one straight line here. That's gonna allow the shoulders, the scapula to lift off of the back as we raise our arms up overhead. So not jutting out, but drawing in, lifting up the shoulder blades. Exhale, hands to heart center. Warming up a little bit here. Inhale, take it up once more. Maybe lifting the gaze this time. Exhale, hands to heart center. Last time, inhale, take it up. Exhale, hands the heart center. Beautiful. Inhale with the arms out like a T. And I want you to flip the hands back so that the thumbs are facing down here. I'm going to take those hands to the small of the back. So once more, let's turn around here. It's going to help warm us up for a longer holding room. So still same thing. You want to release that curvature of drawing and tilting the tailbone down. Almost like you were pressing your belly button through your spine into your hands here. You can draw those elbows back as you relax the shoulders away from the ears. And just take a couple of moments here. Awesome. Please, inhale, arms up overhead. This time, interlacing the fingers, use the thumbs to draw the neck off of that spine, and then press your head back into your hands. So very similar, again, straight spine, we're really aligning that neck, the full vertebra of the spine, all the way down to the tailbone. Just a couple moments here to open up the chest. Activate the shoulders. Probably the most effort we're going to do today. And release. Let that go. You can come off the knees. I'll turn back to face you. Just a nice crisscross applesauce. Everyone feels comfortable. If you do have a blanket, this can be a nice option to keep that straight spine, the integrity of the pelvis. Nice neutral position. So sit up onto the edge of that. Wrap those sit bones side to side. 
again. All spine. So we're going to get into the neck, shoulders, side bodies. Inhale, lift the arms up over head. Dropping that left hand down, take the right arm up and over. Notice if this hip is picking up, see if you can pull it back down and lift out of that side body. This lifted left hand can stay as is, or once again, you can bring the hand to the back of the head and then press down, opening up the chest a little bit. Take about two or so breaths here. We're gonna keep this right hand down as we lift up. Go ahead and bring that hand to the top of your head. And then just drop that left ear towards the left shoulder. We don't want to use this hand as weight, but rather think of that as something to stretch up into, creating all this length in the side. Now, if this is too intense, just bring both hands to the left. Each inhale, think of lifting up through that spine. Allow the exhale to provide a sense of ease, just bringing the shoulders, the arms, the elbows kind of be heavy. Inhale, we'll lift up and straight. Just for sake of balance in the hips, let's switch the cross of the ankles before we go over to the other side. All spine. Once again, you either readjust your seat or inhale, lift it up. Left hand down, right arm stretching up, and then over. Then keep that sit bone down so the pelvis is nice and level. You can stay here, take that same hand, maybe use the thumb to kind of pull and elongate the neck and then press the head back with your. Find your chin towards your throat. And just a couple of breaths here. We're gonna inhale and straighten, keeping this extended hand down. Bring that hand to the top of the head so you can stretch up into. And then right ear to right shoulder. And if that's too much, hands to the left. Nothing to force here, just allowing gravity to do the work. Let the shoulder be heavy, those arms heavy. Only effort is that lift of the spine, just with a natural lift of the inhale. And once more, lifting the head back to neutral. So this can bring both hands out to the side, nice and far away from the body. You just drop the chin in towards the chest. A little side to side. And one shoulder to the other, creating this kind of half moon pendulum shape. Next time your chin comes towards your chest, gently lift your gaze if you need to shrug the shoulders, find any little bit of movement, and let that go. Take your piece from here. We're going to be going even easier, making it onto our mats, so making sure you have enough space to lie down. We've got pepper here stealing my pillow, but that might be nice just to rest your head upon. And then the blanket is just going to provide some cushion for the shoulder blades. I'm gonna have some bony scapulas myself, so that's just a nice little padding. So come down to the ground, scooting the hips close in towards the heels, and then one vertebra at a time, disturb your dog. Push her to the side. <laughs> All right. Maybe lift the hips, shimmy them down. You just want to think of a way to elongate the spine. We'll draw the knees in towards the chest. A gentle compression here for those hip flexors. 
Maybe you want to rock side to side. Take a little massage for the low back muscles. Pop through the glutes, you can find little circles. Take it to the other side. You're gonna drop those feet down for a supine pigeon pose. So taking that right leg up and over, bending the knee so you have this kind of figure four formation, a nice flexed foot here. This might be enough sensation for you here. If it's not, you can thread your hands through that keyhole, grab the shin or the back of the thigh. Let's gently pull the knee in towards the body. Be mindful in doing so that you don't create all this tension in the shoulders. Take about three breaths here in through the nose. Out through the nose. Okay, next exhale, release that foot. We found that option. We're going to keep this figure four formation for our twist. So arms come up like a T. The hands can be down or flipped up. Just decide if it feels better to internally rotate hands down or externally rotate hands up. And I'm just going to take this foot here and draw it across and over to the ground. So it's a traction twist for the spine. Maybe feel this in the glutes, the hip flexors, quads. If you can reach that foot, you can kind of use that to anchor yourself down. These can be straight up at the sky or over your opposite arm. And a couple breaths here in through the nose and out through the nose. This is a nice way to kind of ring out. So symbolically, we think of maybe releasing the energy that's stagnant or no longer serving us. Physically, we're kind of compressing the organs here that helps it lead in digestion. All of this is kind of a process of elimination, of letting go. So let's do that once again with a cleansing breath. We'll take a deep breath in. And exhale out. With your next inhale, we'll bring that back up towards center. Release both feet down. It might feel good to walk them wide. And just kind of windshield wiper side to side. Bring some blood flow back to that hip. And we'll move to the other side. So walk the feet back. In so that they're underneath the knees, maybe lift the sit bones, lift the shoulders, elongate that spine, and take that left leg up and over or opposite of what we did last time. Check in, see how that feels. Again, if it's not enough sensation, you can draw that knee towards the body by spreading your hand through that keyhole. So you can relax the shoulders away from the body. Maybe find a fixed point somewhere on the ceiling or close the eyes all together. And take about three deep breaths here. Finish your last round, gently release that lifted foot down. We're going to keep this figure four with a nice flex foot. Just let it fall over to the opposite side of the body. And you can bring that arm out, facing up, facing down. And you can take a kiss it. 
Knees can be at the sky or over your opposite shoulder. And take that cleansing breath here in through the nose and out through the nose. With your inhale, come back to the center, grounding both feet. Maybe you walk them a little bit wider. And once more, windshield wiper side to side, just nice and steady. Maybe you get a couple of pops in. Synovial fluid moving in your hips. For the next little bit here, we're going to keep the feet wide so they're not locked. <laughs> Let the knees fall in towards each other for resting pose. Just helping to spread the low back. So you may notice you have like a little bit of a curvature, a little air pocket between where the ground and your lower back meets. We're going to basically replicate that shoulder opener we did before. So I'll kind of come back up and stay as you are. You're going to let the arms come to the side, thumbs facing down. You're still on your back here. And see if you can slide your hands underneath the small of the back. So you're just really allowing gravity here to help open up with your holes. So feet are down, knees are together, hands are at the small of the back internal rotation of the arm bones. And then here's where you might want that pad for your spine. You've got the shoulder blades maybe poking into the ground. You see here if you can focus your breath in your low belly, really letting it inflate and fill with the inhale. And soften and release with the exhale. Slowly walk those hands back underneath the knees. Hands, feet under the knees. Release your hands. If you lift the hips a little bit to draw the tailbone down and lengthen the spine. Last little pose here is going to be an inversion. We call it legs up the wall. If you do have a physical ball, you're welcome to use. Maybe if you're even taking this lying in bed, you can go up against your bed post, couch, whatever you've got. Feel free to pause this video as you need. We're simply just going to stick the legs up into the air. That wall is nice and supportive if you have it. Otherwise, that's fine. You shimmy and adjust yourself as needed. If you work a job where you're standing on your feet a lot, it's a good way to help improve your circulation. Just at the end of the day, be compressed. Have a little shoulder stretch here just to kind of counter what we did before. Go ahead and just give yourself a hug. So stack your left elbow on top, looking up those shoulders. So this can fall to the chest, the bridge of the nose, or even the eyes. Just kind of allowing yourself a little moment of darkness here, a little reprieve. Couple breaths. And keep the legs as is as you just slowly unwind the arms. Hopefully you remember which side you did. We'll stack that opposite arm to be your right on top. 
just balancing out the shoulders. Again, maybe to come to the eyes. Kind of letting go of any of that external stimuli of your room. One more exhale, slowly unwind the arms. You can bend the knees. Once again, draw them into the chest. This time it might feel good to lift up and find a little squeeze. Exhale, relax the shoulders down. Free to roll over onto your favorite side or come up through center. Meeting in an easy seat. Bring the hands to heart center. One final pause before you go off into the rest of your day. Both the light and the dark that resided in me honor and recognize that within each and every one of you. Namaste, yogis. Thank you so much for joining. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any requests, I'd love to hear them for uh, another time. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye. Okay.